In this video, we are going to talk about uh, Bormann's rule in mathematics. Okay, let's consider a numerical expression which contains uh, multiple operations. For example, 3 square positive 5 divided by 2 times 3 uh, positive 7 negative 3. Okay, here we have a numerical expression. I just want to evaluate uh, the numerical expression over here. But it contains more than one operation. That is, we have powers, addition, division, multiplication, again addition, uh, subtraction. So in what order do we have to do uh, these operations one by one? So Bournemouth's rule tells us the order of operations, that is the order in which uh, the operations are out to be done one by one. So like Bournemouth's rule, the first letter we have is B. B means we have to do brackets. So in a numerical expression, if a numerical expression contains brackets, first we have to do the stuff inside the brackets. And then we have O. O means orders. Orders means powers and radicals. So once we are done with brackets, uh, we have to evaluate the powers and radicals. And then we have division and multiplication. So and then we have addition and subtraction. But we have to be careful with this division and multiplication because uh, in any numerical expression, always we cannot expect division before multiplication. Sometimes we'll have multiplication first and then we'll have division. So whenever we have division and multiplication together in a numerical expression, so we have to do one by one in the order from left to right. Okay, let's consider an example, 15 divided by five times three. Okay, here we have division and multiplication together. Division is over here and multiplication is over here. Okay, now which one has to be done first? And just look at the expression from left side to right side. When I look at this numerical expression, left side to right side, I have division first. So I have to do division first. When I do division first, 15 divided by 5, it will become 3 times 3. Now I have to do multiplication, then 3 times 3 is 9. So the evaluation of this expression is just 9. So when we have division and multiplication together, we have to do one by one in the order from left to right. So when I look at the expression from left side to right side, the one which comes first, that has to be done first. The one which comes next, that has to be done next. Okay, let's consider uh, one more expression for this one. So seven times three uh, divided by four. Okay, here, so when I look at this expression, so multiplication first, division next. So I have to do multiplication first. So when I do multiplication first, that is seven times three is 21. Then we have division three. So when I divide uh, 21 by 4, so I'll be getting 5.25. So here I look at the expression from left side to right side. So multiplication, I have first, so I do multiplication first, and then I have division, then I do division. So this is how we have to do division and multiplication. And for addition and subtraction, we'll not have any trouble because when you have addition and subtraction, so we can do uh, the same thing. Uh, so what we have followed for division and multiplication, that is we can do one by one in the order from left to right. Okay, so based on what we have discussed so far, uh, let's uh, look at some uh, examples on this. Here we have a numerical expression that we have to evaluate. Okay, so we can use board mass rule over here. So according to, let me write uh, board mass, B-O-D-M-A-S. First we have B, B means brackets. So first we have to do the stuff inside the bracket. So let me do it 25 negative four times. So when I do the stuff inside the bracket, there is seven positive five we have in the bracket. Seven positive five is just 12 and divided by four positive three. And uh, so the second letter is O, that is orders. Uh, that means we have to evaluate the powers and radicals, but we don't find powers or radicals in this uh, expression. So okay, then we have uh, uh, multiplication and division. So we have multiplication division together, as I said already. So when we have multiplication and division together, we have to do one by one in the order from left to right. So when I look at uh, the expression from left to right, I have multiplication first. So let me do multiplication first, 25 negative, four times 12 is uh, 48 divided by four positive three. Okay, now uh, we have three operations, uh, subtraction, uh, division, addition. So according to the board mass rule, first we have to do division. At last we have to do addition and subtraction. Okay, 25 negative. When I divide 48 by four, that is I'm doing division. When I divide 48 by four, I'll be getting 12, positive three. So here we have uh, subtraction and uh, addition. So we can do uh, addition and subtraction uh, in the order, the same thing uh, we follow for addition and division and multiplication. So we have to look at the expression from left to right. The one which comes at first, we can do it. So we have subtraction first. So first we can do subtraction. 
that is subtract 12 from 25 so then uh, we will be getting 13 positive 3 okay now we have only one operation that is addition uh, when I add 13 and 3 so I'll be getting 16 so the evaluation of the given a numerical expression is 16 okay now uh, let's look at another example okay here we have a numerical exp uh, numerical expression that has to be evaluated so here we have uh, multiple operations so we have to follow Bodmas rule okay so Bodmas rule means the first letter is B that is we have to do the stuff inside the bracket first but even inside the bracket we have more than one operation so again we have to follow Bodmas rule inside the brackets okay let me do it 64 negative 3 times so inside the bracket, I have addition, uh, multiplication, division, subtraction, again multiplication. But here we have uh, multiplication and division together. So as I said already, uh, we have to do one by one in the order from left to right. So from left to right, we have multiplication first. Okay, so let's do multiplication first. So 2 times 12 is uh, 24 divided by uh, 8 and negative 3 times 3, positive 11. Still we have more than one operation uh, inside the brackets. Okay, here, uh, so we have to always we have to consider the division and multiplication. So, and then we have to do addition and subtraction according to the board mass rule. So, here, when I look at the expression from, from left to right, I have division first and then multiplication. But here, the, these two stuff are separate. So, the division and multiplication. So, we can do these division and multiplication together. So, that is 13, I mean, simultaneously, 13 positive. So, first, let's do this division. 24 divided by 8 is uh, just 3 negative and 3 times 3 is 9 positive 11 okay 64 negative 3 times here we have addition and subtraction so I think we can do them uh, simultaneously so 13 positive 3 will be 16 when I subtract 9 from 16 it will be 7 positive 11 64 negative so now we have uh, subtraction multiplication addition so first let's do multiplication 3 times 7 is 21 positive 11 okay here we have subtraction uh, first so we can do subtraction first so when i subtract 21 from uh, 64 i'll be getting 43 positive 11 now we have only one operation that is addition so when i add 43 and 11 it will be 54 so the evaluation of the given numerical expression is 54 okay let's do another example here we have a numerical expression to be evaluated. Okay, here we have uh, two types of brackets, square brackets and circle bracket. Okay, first let me consider this uh, square bracket. But uh, inside the square brackets, uh, if I want to follow both mass rule, there is uh, circle brackets over here. So first we have to do the stuff over here in the circle bracket, inside the square brackets. So 96 divided by, so when you do the stuff inside the uh, circle brackets over here, so inside the circle bracket we have two operations, that is uh, power and subtraction. So what do we have to do first? We have to do power first. So that is we have to evaluate the 6 square. The evaluation of 6 square is 36, negative 12, divided by 4, negative 3, times 2, positive 3. Okay, still we have the square bracket. Inside the square bracket, we have circle brackets. So first we have to evaluate these uh, brackets, the stuff inside the brackets. So then I'll be getting 96 divided by, so 36, negative 12 uh, becomes uh, 24, divided by 4, negative 3 times 2 positive 3 okay here we have two division signs so we have to do one by one in the order from left to right so this one comes first so when I divide uh, 96 by 24 so I'll be getting 4 divided by 4 negative 3 times 2 positive 3 okay here inside the square bracket uh, we have division and subtraction first we have to do division so the evaluation of 4 uh, divided by 4 is just 1 negative 3 times uh, 2 positive 3 Okay, now let's evaluate uh, this uh, square bracket. 1, negative 3 is uh, just um, negative uh, 2 times 2, positive 3. So here negative uh, will come as it is 2 times 2 because here we have uh, multiplication and addition. We have to do multiplication first. 2 times 2 is uh, 4, that is negative 4, positive 3. So the simplification of negative 4, positive 3 is just negative 1. So the evaluation of the given numerical expression is negative 1. Okay, now let's look at another example. What is the value of a squared positive bc uh, positive c to the third part divided by a squared positive b negative c if a equals to 3, b equals to negative 5 and c equals to 4. Okay, our first work uh, in this problem is first we have to plug in the given values for a, b and c. So now let me plug in a equals to 3 then uh, we'll have a square over here then it becomes uh, 3 square 
positive b times c b is uh, negative 5 times c is uh, 4 positive c cube c cube means uh, that is 4 to the third part divided by a square a square means 3 square positive b positive the value of b is uh, negative 5 negative c the value of c is 4 okay now we have to evaluate this expression here we have uh, brackets at two places but both of them are separate. We can do uh, both of them simultaneously because both of them are separate. So here, uh, inside the bracket, we have uh, more than one operation here. So that is, uh, we have uh, power and uh, multiplication. Okay, so when I evaluate this power three square, it will be nine. And uh, so here I can uh, multiply these uh, two signs, positive and negative. I'll be getting negative uh, five times four, positive. And this is separate, four to the third power. So when I evaluate this four to the third power, it will be, 64 divided by and inside the square bracket over here we have two operations so one is uh, power and other one is addition so the evaluation of three square is nine positive times negative will become negative five negative four okay here uh, inside the square bracket over here we have uh, two operations subtraction and multiplication so let's do multiplication first five times four is 20 positive 64 divided by and uh, so here we have to evaluate the stuff inside the brackets over here. Nine times five is four, negative four. Okay, this bracket is separate. So when I evaluate this one, nine negative 20 is just negative 11. And then we can do division over here. This is separate uh, from this part. So 64 divided by four is uh, just 16, negative four. Okay, here we have uh, addition and subtraction. Let's do one by one in the order from left to right. So first let's do addition. When I combine negative 11 and positive 16, it will become positive 5 and negative 4. And 5 negative 4 is just 1. So the value of the given expression is just 1. Okay, let's do one more example. Okay, here we have a numerical expression. It has to be evaluated. Okay, so when I look at the given expression, it's a fraction. And 6 is the common divisor for the complete stuff we have in numerator. So we have to consider this numerator as a separate expression. So first we have to evaluate this, uh, evaluate the expression in numerator. Okay, when I look at the numerical expression in numerator, uh, so I have uh, division and uh, power and multiplication. So according to Burma's rule, uh, so first we have uh, B that is brackets, but we don't find uh, brackets uh, over here. So then uh, next we have O, O means order. As order means we have to evaluate the powers. So first I have to evaluate the power over here, that is three square, so 72 divided by, so the evaluation of three square is just nine times two over six. Okay, here in this expression in numerator, so we have division and multiplication together. So we have to do one by one in the order from left to right. So from left to right, division comes first. So first we have to do division. When I divide 72 by 9, I'll be getting 8 times 2 over 6. Okay, now uh, we have uh, multiplication. Only one operation in the numerator. 8 times 2 is 16 over 6. So here uh, we have to divide 16 by 6. I think uh, so it will be a recurring decimal so we can simplify this so because both 16 and 6 are even numbers uh, we can divide both of them by 2 that is uh, 2 goes into 6 thrice and 2 goes into 16 8 so the evaluation of the given numerical expression is 8 over 3.